Okay guys, welcome to another deep dive into our implements for the Cybo Clydesdale. Today we want to talk about our brand new release, the Auger. Um, so if that's something that you think you could be using on your farm or on your job site or wherever you are, stick around. Okay guys, so this is our brand new auger. We're currently running a 250mm auger on this um, Cyber Clydesdale. However, you can buy different size augers for that. Check out our website for details on that. Um, this auger isn't brand new as it was originally developed for the Handy. Uh, if you've seen the Handy with the auger in action, exact same machine. What we've developed is an implement so we can hitch it to the Clydesdale. For those of you who don't want or need or, or can't afford the Handy, this is, this is, we'll get the job done basically the same. Exact same motor, exact same gearbox. We're talking 300 Newton meters of torque um, at the output shaft plus. Um, so heaps of torque, heaps of power. Again, it's our electric motor, so it's reversible. It's not like your standard old dirty tractor auger. Um, it's more like, I suppose, your excavator or auger or so forth. So you can drill down and drill up. We also um, have an attachment for being able to drill pylons into the ground. So, um, and we make our own, we make our own pylons and that. So we use them, for example, for tomato stakes and all longer term uh, stakes instead of star pickets, drive in. We drill a hole in, and then there's a hole in the ground, you just drop the star picket straight into it and that just holds it in place. But we're gonna focus on the auger for now. Um, first thing you should note is implementing plugs in um, and control the same as the rest. You've got the button in the front, you press that to turn it on. If you're gonna be working on it, always make sure it's completely turned off also to be used this to use the the auger we strongly recommend having the battery at the front at all times whether you use it from the back or the front as it is a heavy um, piece of equipment but more so it's it's further away from that center of gravity so it is fairly heavy you can lift it comfortably um, I would say maybe 10 kilos of, of weight there so it's not um, exceedingly heavy it's definitely a very good balance however at the end of the day on long um, periods of use, it'll wear you out. So here we've got a bit of bed. Um, I could make up a story, but we don't need any holes here. I just want to show you how it works. Um, it's currently running, it's currently on, so it's all live. So I've got my APU down down as low as possible. What I'll do is I just put my dead man switch on. Oh, turn my speed off, obviously. Um, sit my auger straight. Put my APU switch on, put my dead man on and then turn the APU up. And you can see with that, I can vary the speed on how hard I want to push it in. Now, obviously you've got reverse here, so I can back it up and I can forward it up. So I'll sink a hole, and as you're doing it, you can go forwards and backwards to keep it straight as you're drilling down, because as it comes down, it'll want to kick out. So I'll just start it up. I'll turn the speed up, go forwards a little bit. So you can see we've dug right down, it's too heavy, I can't lift it. Um, just a lot of dirt in there and it's also down deep in the hole. I'll just click it into reverse and I'll back it up a little bit. Gets a bit of it out, put it back into forwards and then just hold the weight of it so it doesn't pull down as much. 
and pull that out. Um, this is a hole full of dirt again, it's filled in. I don't actually need this for anything, but you know, you're gonna have to use your old shovel to clean your hole, get the dirt away from the edge of the hole and so forth. Um, if you find any rocks, we didn't, well actually we did find a little rock at the start there, but it just pushed through it. Just put it in reverse, um, take it up a little bit and let it down again to see how you go. And it gets through the most of the, most of what's out there. I mean, it's not a 20 ton excavator, it's not gonna compete with that. But if you wanna put a couple of, you know, trees in around your place, do a couple of holes for a couple of posts, greenhouse, whatever, this will get, get you through it. Um, we can do about, we've been able to do full depth holes in really heavy clay, we can do about 30 holes on a charge, um, more or less. This is not nowhere near as heavy as the clay as our, as our testing we've done, and you can check that out on our handy. Exact same implement, exact same battery, exact same motor, exact same controller. Um, so you can have a look at uh, that video if you want to look at that. But um, yeah, 30, 30, uh, 30 holes, 250 wide, 900 deep on one charge. And so, um, there's not much more to say on that. Uh, maintenance, this does have a gearbox oil in it. Um, it's, it's a gearbox oil and it's sealed. So it'll probably have to be changed every 10 to 20,000 hours. Look at your uh, manual or check out our website to find that manual there. Okay, so for installation of the auger onto the Clydesdale, the first thing we recommend is that you lift the auger up. Always keeping in mind where your connector is so they don't get pinched and damaged. So with that in your left hand, put your right hand directly under the back and lift it like so. Keep your fingers wide away from this area here as they can get pinched in these joints and that'd be very painful. So our hand on the back, auger straight. Now with one hand holding and balancing the auger, grab your Clydesdale with your other hand and then insert the shaft into the Clydesdale. Once it's sitting there a little bit, you can then just straighten it up till it slides one right in. Once it's slid in, you get your pin and drop it in to the hole. If you don't have your pin on you and you left somewhere else at this point, it's safe to leave and just walk away. You may need to wriggle it up and down and side to side to get that pin to fall in safely and comfortably like so. Next thing you want to do is insert, remove your dust cap and insert your connector into the back and now you're safe to turn your auxiliary PTO on. Next thing you want to do is turn your handlebar one click to the left and lower it down to the locks in like so. Then you'll be provided with a strap like so. That strap um, goes in through the first hole, up to the second hole, and around the handlebar. And then pull that as tight as possible. This is important as you will be lifting the weight of the machine from the handlebars, so as not to overstress the other points back up further. Now lastly, as the auger is a heavy implement, what you want to do is let the hand, let the box forwards, and then you're good to go. Now this is, this will be the primary uh, mode of use. If you're going to be close to it here, you can also turn the handlebars around to the front and run it from the front. Yeah guys, I hope this has been informative. And uh, if you've got any questions, just leave them down the bottom in the comment section. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully uh, the Clydesdale can get you um, going on your farm. So until next time guys, all the best.